Good day. We're in downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota, just across the street from the Holiday Inn, uh, where the American Red Cross has set up their Family Assistance Center. It's the place where relatives of the missing can go for information and for comfort. It's not been as busy today as it was on Thursday, but with a number of people still unaccounted for, the work there is not done yet. For the past few days, there's been considerable praise and well-deserved for the rescue workers who responded so quickly when the 35W bridge uh, collapsed on Wednesday evening. One of those people is a uh, Captain Shanna Hansen of the Minneapolis Fire Department. She's the woman you would have seen in all that video early on searching the murky water for survivors uh, in those early hours. We spoke with her earlier today, and here's that conversation. When I was coming down to the site, because I went down the back side of the hill there, right where it's over the railroad cars, I was starting to get a grasp of the magnitude of it, how much had actually collapsed, and all the collapse dangers we still had. So you weren't just worried about what was in the water, but what was over your head? Yeah, that's, that's the USAR training coming in, where they teach you that secondary collapse is such a hazard in that type of a situation, and we definitely had that on both sides of the river here. What do you take from this experience? I read either you or one of your colleagues said it sort of it, it reminded them of 9-11. Uh, what do you take from, from this experience? We train a lot for this sort of thing and you cannot train for the victims in the water and the actual having all the widow makers and the structural collapse that high around you and being able to coordinate all the different agencies and have all that happen so what happens afterwards is the critiquing, and that starts almost immediately, and hopefully it will go into some sort of formal phase where we look at, if this happened again, God forbid, what could we do better? How could we make our response better? Uh, on a personal note, uh, you were talking earlier off camera about mm -hmm. you, have, you just had laser surgery. Yes. Uh, and and, and you, you'd been so careful about protecting your eyes, and then you do this. When I went into the water, I never thought about it didn't think about the diesel or the gas or any of those other things because you have a job to do. So later it, it came to mind and um, I kind of got a little bit of a talking to from the doctor, but it's been okay. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Minneapolis, Minnesota.